Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Isaac. We are jumping in today for another sort of showcase item run. I found something pretty interesting. I was looking through some items for some to check out and I found this item here called the Sorrowful Shallot, which seems really interesting. It's a tinted treasure room item and what it's going to do is we passively fire tiers around ourselves that take on our tier effects and scale with our damage and tiers and killing enemies will temporarily increase the rate the tiers are spawned. So you'll see they kind of just come off of us like this um, and then we're going to pair that with flat stone because Flatstone makes them skip a little further, which is kind of nice. And then we have a mod that adds synergies to Flatstone, and one of those synergies is with Rubber Cement. So now they'll bounce off of walls. So now we've got a pretty interesting synergy here, and just to make it that much harder, we're going to make it so that we can't shoot. This is our only way to fire. I thought this could be pretty interesting. Um, I think that bosses are going to be significantly harder, but room-to-room -room combat, we should hopefully have a decent time at, but we can't really aim. Now... Tammy's head is great. Uh, I will, by the way, I was going to remove D6. I just forgot. So pretend the D6 doesn't exist. So Tammy's head is actually a pretty good one to go with because now we get this similar effect, but we get it from Tammy's head. Treasure rooms um, and planetariums to spawn unlocked. That's actually pretty nice. Um, just being able to save on that. But yeah, that that's actually Tammy's head's going to be a really, really good boss killer for us. But you can see how when we kill an enemy, the rate at which the tears start coming out is vastly increased. Oh, dude, Tammy's head is so good for us. Now, one of the main things we're going to need for this run to really pop off is um, range increases. Range increases, but you can see, with the amount of enemies I've killed, just how insane the amount of tiers we fire uh, fire goes for a while, and I think it lasts the rest of the room, or at least it, it very slowly fades away, because it seems to be lasting a good while. Hey, we get a, a nice little um, soul heart there. But yeah, so early on, this is looking to be pretty powerful, um, especially with Tammy's head. But I do think if we don't get damage ups, this will fall off pretty heavily in the later games by like floor three or four. Also as well, we've got the massive downside of not being able to aim. So enemies that chase us like the spider, we're having a very, very hard time of accurately hurting. So even though we're able to kill stuff reasonably quickly, that's still going to be a major problem for us. It's, it's an interesting idea. I just, I saw the Sorrowful Shallot when I was looking through items. I always do like these sort of item searches where I kind of just go through and see what I can find. Honestly, the fact that these guys spawn little enemies is super helpful for upping our tier rate. Um, I always like go through the item lists of modded items and look for things that could be fun to just try out on their own. But then I saw this and was like, do you know what? This has some interesting synergy potential with Flatstone. And I was like, do you know what? Add in rubber cement. Uh, taking damage is a chance to make Isaac spit out a random food item that's in his inventory. Chance skills with luck. That's a pretty good item. We've had this before. Um, let's just... Yeah, we'll, we'll go alt path, you know. We'll go alt path. Why not? Give us a hug. What? A battery? I've never had a battery from one of those guys before. It's always been a heart of some variety. Unfortunately, most likely a red heart, but um, it, can be, it can be a soul heart as well. I've seen. Tammy's head was such a good grab for us here. Um, and then what we got going on? So that doesn't matter for us. Um, betrayal. Enemies can hit each other with projectiles and start in fighting. Do you know what? That's not actually that bad um, for this challenge because it means we can kind of leave enemies to to hurt each other rather than us having to worry too much about it. Yeah, ta honestly, Tammy's head has broken this challenge wide open. I say challenge loosely. Obviously, these aren't the hardest of runs, um, especially like I said with Tammy's head. My God. Uh, but, it is still a bit of a challenge, because not being able to aim is not exactly the easiest. I mean, like, look at this guy here. I I can barely hit him. <laughs> okay, we're good. I'll go back and grab that key in a second. And yeah, like, it basically, if Tammy's head doesn't hit them, it significantly slows us down. Because one thing I'm noticing as well is the tier rate boost that we get for killing enemies doesn't seem to occur on the kills from Tammy's head. It only seems to occur on kills that we get directly, which adds another element of challenge to it as well. Because we can get some big damage boost with Tammy's head, but it doesn't persist. Honestly, I'm very tempted to use a bomb there, but... I decided against it. Yeah, I'm really, really hoping for some range increases. That would be ideal. Being able to get something that, that allows these tiers to dot around the room for much longer would uh, would help us a lot. Luckily, these little fellas shouldn't have too hard of a time of getting killed. And in fact, killing them will increase our tier rate. So they're pretty good for us. 
But you can see on some rooms we get an insane tier 8 boost. Others, it's, it's only meager. It's not a lot. But as for today's question of the day, oh, Gummy Bear's an amazing one. That's range damage multiplier and stuff. This is pretty goddamn good. I'll check in here. Dude, that is... That's amazing. Um, Brimstone? I literally don't know how this would work. It says... Uh, wait, hold up, hold up. It says overwrites flatstone. But let me just check something. One second. The flatstone mod does say it has a brimstone synergy. So I just want to see if it does anything. It doesn't seem to have done anything. It just seems to have lowered my, my tier rate. So let's uh, let's do a quick rewind on that. I just wanted to test it out and see if it worked. Because that could have been really interesting. Um, but hey her, it didn't. Either way, we are on our way. Gummy Bear was an amazing item to grab. A lot of stats, a bit of range, a lot of damage. That's what we like to see. That is what we like to see. Um, and we're just going to sort of keep going. Obviously, as well, Tammy's head gets even better with um the more we use it but like if we if we ignore tammy's head for let's say the rest of this floor let's just not use tammy's head and see how this challenge whoa why was that one tier so fast there was one tier that was like lightning speed the tier rate bonus is clearly shining through at the moment i'm liking that i'm liking that a lot but big rooms like this we want to be using tammy's head because otherwise it's gonna take forever but the small rooms we shouldn't need it but at the same time, if you have it, why not use it? We've almost got enough for a shop here. Oh, dude, I love the fact that it scales with kills. Because by the end of the room, you're just like... There's so many. Um, I'm going to go with this, the random. we got the hive, which should be decent. Golden pill here will uh, pop a few times. <laughs> by a few, I mean two, because that's all it gave us. That's a bit unfortunate. More than a bit unfortunate. It's very unfortunate. I said I was going to not use Tammy's head for the rest of this floor, but I'm addicted, and I just can't get enough. The hive's pretty good, to be fair. Um, that's going to be a lot of extra flies per room. We'll take Broken Murder. Oh, I didn't see Greed's butt down there. I should have probably grabbed that instead. Greed's butt is a very good item, but honestly, Broken Murder is an item I very much enjoy as well, so I will not say no to it. Hehe, <laughs> here, boy. Yeah, Broken Burden deleting tears is uh, truly, truly wonderful. Remember back in the day when they first added it and it would literally just stop the tears but not delete them? <laughs> it was so terrible. Like, on the hush fight and stuff, it would just be, like, absolutely awful. It would be unbearable. Oh, dude. This fire rate's pretty nuts. Yeah, I, I base fire rate right now. It seems to also, like, the kills carry through to, to like other rooms but you can definitely see what i mean about bosses being the real challenge here because uh we're not even with tammy's head we're not killing this guy exactly quickly and we've got to really rely on him running into our bouncing tears um to kill him luckily we've got him into second phase which helps us but he doesn't move much in second phase which doesn't help i'm just trying to get into position that's like most likely to hit him it's very hard to know where I'm going to get a good hit on him. Oh my god. That's some Hemolacria shots right there. Broken Murdom's pausing him on occasion. Oh god, I didn't realise that did that. I didn't realise the shots curled. God, I'm, I'm, I'm not looking forward. That was a very bad hit there. Not looking forward to, like, Mum's heart and stuff. That's going to be rough. Unless we have some really good stats. Oh, dude, I'm getting hit by this guy so much. I don't think I've ever fought this guy for this long. And that's why I'm not used to his attacks. I mean, he's a champion version as well, which makes things a little harder. Come on, you're so close to dead, my guy. There you go, finally. That was difficult. Um, Range is good. Tier size is an interesting one. Tier size could be useful. It's a bit easier to hit things. And we'll, we'll carry on down the regular path now. Although... I will quickly go and bomb my mirror to get my increased chance of reflected items. Because you never know, a doubled item, doubled consumable, doubled card, anything that's like glassified, turned to glass and doubled, could be pretty interesting. Did I end up doing a question of the day? I, I remember saying, asking about it, but I don't remember what I actually asked, so maybe not. Um, if, if not, I'm going to do a second one. Um, what's your pet's name? If you have any pet, what's its name? If you have multiple pets, what are all their names? 
I've had quite a few pets um, throughout my life, mainly cats. Um, my family have never really been dog people, which I know that's going to offend some people, but I don't know. I prefer cats. I, I just like the way that cats are like, they, they do their own thing, and then when you want their attention, you can go get it. Whereas with dogs, like, you have to give them all your attention all the time, which is sometimes a really good thing if, if that's what you need in your life. But for me, that's it's, it's just, that's too much. <laughs> I want to... I want to play with my pet when I want to play with my pet, and I want to be on my own when I want to be on my own sort of thing. And cats are, like, exactly like that. For the most part, obviously, it depends on the cat that you have. But for the most part, that's what they're like. Um, I don't think Remembrance of the Forgotten does much for us. I should have um, I should have duplicated it, though, with a the Yera there. I should have waited and got a bomb. Like, it does allow us to fire. It does allow us to fire. That's interesting. But I don't want to be firing. That's not the point of this challenge. But yeah, um, my 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 favorite cat that I've ever had was um, was my cat Jimmy. Um, he was the cat that I had um, a tabby cat that I had when I lived at my parents. Unfortunately, he has passed away now a few years ago. But that was like the best cat we ever had. What an absolute G he was. He was just like so docile. <laughs> like he was so relaxed and like. Do you know how like dog like typically pets dogs cats are all like scared of Hoover's uh, vacuums. Not this guy. You could, like, literally put his entire tail up the vacuum. Wouldn't give a shit. <laughs> Just didn't care. He was so relaxed. And he'd, like, eat anything as well. Um, you, you could, like, have, like, a plate of curry on the side. And he'd eat that. Like, really hot curry. He'd just eat it. I don't, I don't know, actually know. I know that some animals' heat doesn't affect them. So I don't know if, um, if heat affects cats the same way it affects humans. But maybe not. Now, I know there's some animals where heat doesn't affect them the same. Dude, how have I got this much tear rate consistently? This is insane. What's left? Oh, there's one of you guys left. I didn't even know there was one of you. Die, fiend. Don't care for you, pill. But considering we can't fire, this challenge has gone pretty well. I mean, we can technically fire with Tammy's head. I need to stop taking damage. I'm taking some real bad damage. Ooh, I got one of those machines. If I get some more money, I'll play that. But uh, A, I'm not really that infused by it, I'll be honest. Stay away from me, champion heathen. It's just interesting, because, like, to do the most damage, the best tactic is to stand very, very close to the enemy, which, with a lot of enemies, is very, very bad. And even then, it's all, like, random chance-based, so... You might not hit him still. I will definitely take that half heart, thank you. Oh, hello. Why was she so small when you spawned in? Was that something to do with broken murder messing your spawning animation? I'm guessing so. Okay, we've got ten now. I'll do two players on the um what what are those machines called? Gap it's like gap chich or something or other? I, I don't remember the name. I can pick this up just to grab um an extra key. Um Do you know what? I'm actually going to take that. We've got seven keys. I think it's worth it. Some speed. It's rather nice. And a pill. I'll take it because it's given us it. It's not the best. But a little bit of speed. I think five for point one speed is not the best deal in the world. But I don't mind it. i got to remember that I don't actually have a ton of damage. It's just that my tears are really, really big. My god, some rooms... Oh, dude, Tammy's head. You are so god tier for us. I'll take this pill as well, considering it's been given to me. There's a reflected. Bombs are key. Nah, I'm flipping that back around. <laughs> Thank god I got two of those, because that would kind of annoyed me. I want my keys so that I can take advantage of this uh, trinket. Oh, dude. That was such a terrible, terrible way to lose my angel chance. I just walked right into that. Oh, dude, I do enough damage to, like, just outright kill those guys. That's kind of wild. Oh, my God. I don't know why sometimes the, the tier rate goes so goddamn hard. Sometimes I just, like, have, like, insane tier rate. Do you know what? We might as well go in here. And there's some damage. Lovely. Do 
Beautiful stuff. Dude, the tear it. It's going mental. This challenge ended up being a lot easier than anticipated, I'll be honest. I was expecting this to be, like, quite hard. <laughs> and, <laughs> um, it's it's turned out to not be so hard. Like, the tier rate scaling is wild, for one. And, yeah, Tammy's head is just, uh, is making some rooms a bit of a breeze. But, like, even without Tammy's head, we're, like, doing a pretty good amount of damage. I think this is, the, the, these sort of runs are fun. Just, like, the kind of, like, theory crafting in a way. Did, did anyone used to watch... Good old Rage Gaming Videos Synergy Labs. Oh man, those videos were top tier. Absolutely loved Rage Gaming Videos. I I'll be honest, his his commentary style and personality wasn't best suited to what I enjoy. He's a he was a bit too energetic for me. Um, but I can't deny that his content was thoroughly entertaining, and I used to watch them all the time. It's a shame that he doesn't do any Isaac anymore, because with all the mods and stuff now, there's so much he could do, but from what I've seen, I, weirdly, actually, I've I, when I started playing Elden Ring, I saw he was doing Elden Ring content, and now I've started playing Diablo 4 again, I've seen he's doing Diablo 4 content, so I think now he just kind of, like, does gaming videos based on the, the, the whatever game is trending, which is kind of a good idea, to be honest. I respect it. But yeah, anyone that hasn't seen those videos, obviously they're a bit dated now and there's probably a lot of the synergies and stuff that you've already seen. But just just for a bit of Isaac history, I would I would highly recommend going back and looking at Rage Gaming videos um synergy labs. Basically, it would just be videos. Um if I put a bomb here, it's going to knock around. No, it's not. My god. Joyous. Oh, what the hell? How do I how do I do this then? Is it like this? Oh, what the fuck was spikes there? How, how am I meant to get across there? That's annoying. Brimstone ring. <laughs> that was pretty useful. Could really have used a HP up item there, because our HP is uh, not, not in a good way. Dice shard, I will take. Right. Um, yeah, basically he would just have them, do you know like the death certificate rooms where there's every item? He would have one of those rooms and he would basically just pick different items and piece them together to create really wacky and unique synergies with uh, all the vanilla items. It was really, really cool actually. Um, just really interesting and this was like before mods were super big and like before there was a ton of people doing Isaac on YouTube um, like this, do you know like this style of run showcase that kind of Matman popularized. I, I, I don't know. I wouldn't say Matman specifically popularized, but Matman was kind of the person that. No, 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 no. I take it back. Matman did popularize it, but he didn't pioneer it. Other people had done it before, but Matman probably was the one that that took this sort of genre of video style of taking like cool synergies or modded items and showcasing them. Um, which is one of the reasons that I do them now, because it's what's popular on YouTube. And I'll be honest, I actually enjoy these more than just doing regular runs. I mean, sometimes I do just en enjoy doing a, a classic old Isaac run, but they just don't do as well on YouTube, and I do enjoy these runs more. Um... But yeah, like, way before all of that, Rage Gaming Videos was the go-to guy for seeing cool stuff in Isaac. He was the go-to guy. But yeah, even though obviously these runs are quite powerful, typically... Hey, there's that angel deal. Yeah, even though these runs are quite powerful, typically... Um... Ooh... Wait, no, that doesn't actually help. <laughs> um... It's just, it, it's fun to see what's possible in a real run if you were to get these items sort of thing. That's that's what I like about it. Right, dice shard both of these. What the hell is that? Um, can be used three times in one room, recharges it in your room. Using item creates a, a soul explosion. That does not seem that good. Mustard seed is decent here. Bit of healing never hurt anyone. Right. We are good to go. Unfortunately, not the best of best angel deals you've ever seen in your life, but not awful. But yeah, it, it is, it, to be fair, it is really interesting how, like, the, the YouTube ethos of Isaac has changed over the years. Like, I don't even know who, who was, like, the first sort of person to start doing mainstream Isaac videos. It's, it's got to be Northern Lion, right? Because he started back with Flash Isaac. 
So I'm pretty sure Northern Lion was like the big person to start it off. And then like, there was a few other people. Um, like obviously Hutz kind of picked it up pretty early as well. Um, but then like now the whole sort of space of Isaac has changed. I mean, modding is probably one of the biggest reasons it's changed. I mean, there's not that many people that I can think of out there that do like purely vanilla content. I mean, there's people like um is it Nyantuba? Is that the is that, the, that the name of that guy? Um that I think does vanilla content, but even they have a few like quality of life or visual mods installed. It's not unnatural. Um it, it's just interesting to see how the space has changed. I mean, I don't think there's many games out there. Oh my god, that was a bad hit. I don't think there's many games out there that have quite the longevity that, uh, that Isaac has had and will continue to have. Honestly, as long as people keep making mods for this game and the game keeps getting updated, I mean, it's getting a new update at the end of next month, I'm pretty sure, um, there will continue to be content on it. And it's kind of awesome to see, to be honest. What's this little burnt-up cigarette? 5% chance on taking uh, damage to gain. Dude, I'll never understand. There's a few items in the base game, and that's a modded one, where... The chances are so abysmally low, there's a good chance that you don't see it in the entire run. On average, you'd have to get hit, what What would that be, 20 times to get a half black heart? The f what's the point? <laughs> Actually, what's the point? It's ridiculous. Getting hit 20 times. On average, for a half black heart. It's not even a full black heart. Like, that's just silly. More tears is uh, is pretty awesome here. I can't believe this this shallow item scales with tears. I don't even know what it's a tainted treasure of. I don't know what the um what the original item that you turn to get this is. Lost that soul heart pretty goddamn quickly. Okay, I very much need some HP if it can give us it. The letter key doesn't matter because we're not firing any direction. We're just letting the game do its thing. Beautiful. I'll go in here, look for some HP. We got ourselves this bad boy, which is decent. More tears and damage, and there was a heart in there as well. Lovely. I'll go with a chance to poison enemies when I enter a room. Thank you. Ooh, hello. Oh, really? That hit me? I mean, I sh this should um, alleviate all of my health concerns. We got a giant rock here. Yum heart, unfortunately not what we wanted, but the healing, the red hearts that we got from just breaking the rock put us up to full HP, so I will uh, never forget that. Never forget what you've done for me here. Oh, there was a soul heart in that room back there. But yeah, so that 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 trinket, 5% chance on getting hit to get a half black heart. This trinket, if we take a little look, entering a room has a chance to poison enemy. Already good. Poison enemies have a chance to drop full black hearts. Like, this one might be a little bit more overtuned, but like, come on, the other one's just terrible. <laughs> oh, there you go. Okay, it's a half blackout, not a full one, but still, we got a half blackout already, and we didn't have to take any damage. To me, that's a ten. That's on to a winner. Oh, dude, a soul of Lilith for free? You shouldn't have. Chained spiky. Oh, I do like the chain spiky. But oh, what's this? 25% chance to activate a fortune cookie when entering a room for the first time. If you leave this trinket in a devil room, the next time you enter the room, it will turn to mysterious gift. That's kind of cool. Leave it with Krampus and he'll turn it into a mysterious gift. I like it. I also don't really know what we got in there. Oh, that's just a penny. Okay, fair enough. Keeper's Bargain, can you leave me alone? That's like the third time I've seen you this run. See, half black heart and a luck penny. Beautiful stuff. I thought Mum was going to be really, really hard, but 
We have got a lot of tier right now, so we are we are kind of killing it. We are kind of killing it. Right, up with your... Sadly, no angel deal for us to mess around with. Puzzle piece. Don't think I'll end up getting all three puzzle pieces in time, so I'm not really that bothered with that. Oh god, big rooms are, are still significantly more annoying. Are you going to die? Judgment. Regular judgment. I I'll see if he's got contraband. Oh, he does. He does. It's always worth giving them guys a penny just in case you get the contraband ones. And, and hopefully you get the, the mini, the small contraband rather than the full one. Because otherwise you have to give up your active item, which right now I ain't doing. Also, we have a lot of friends from uh, Mustard Seed here. Is it Mustard Seed it's called? I think it is. I'm not exactly sure what the idea of the theming is with Mustard Seed, to be honest. Like, are Mustard Seeds good at recruiting friends? I don't know. Or is it just a very loose theme? Right, cool. Yeah, we have a lot of friends now. Oops, some Palties didn't realize they were in here. Okay. Right, Blue Baby's going to be a little bit of a longer fight, but still shouldn't be too hard. Isaac here shouldn't be that bad. I mean, to be fair, all the little friends we've got here, we don't mind them. I like the way Betrayal keeps triggering, even though they're our friends and not enemies. But yeah, now now things get a little slower, especially considering he's not got stuff for us to kill. Although, one of the reasons we might be doing better than I thought we should be doing is because I think maybe when our when our charmed uh, friends die, they are giving us tier boosts as if we've killed an enemy. Because I know that that's how it works with some other items. So if that's the case, it might be that we're actually getting quite a lot of good stuff from, uh, like quite a lot of tiers extra from that. We got a spin down dice. That's a a lovely bit of kit there. Right, what we got going on here? So, um, that's mutant spider, which I don't think actually helps us to be honest. Um, I'm just gonna do this and see what I get. Ah, oh, that's not that's not great. <laughs> Um, every 20 seconds while in uncleared room, the familiar spawns a pill, activate a random status effect on all enemies. And we don't want Mutant Spy, that'll just lower our fire rate and won't do much else for us, I think. Okay, are we good? Yeah, so we're getting, like, the tier rate for killing the enemy, but then we're getting extra tier rate for that enemy becoming a charmed enemy that then dies, then we get tier rate for. This room, by the way, is, uh, something else. Also, uh, it's getting a bit wacky with, uh, what's it called? Um, wait, wait, which ones, which ones are not ours? That was confusing. It's getting a bit wacky. Okay, I'll do this, why not? Oh my god, I got hit by some sort of fire there. I've lost my train of thought now. I got so flustered. Why do these guys not have the hearts above them? That's so confusing. How did I not take any damage there either? Oh, straight to the boss, baby. Straight to the boss. Oop, oh, item. The finger. Finger's a bit more direct damage. Right, 
Yeah, this I knew this guy would be a, a bit of a longer fight. Luckily, he spawns stuff on occasion, so we are getting, like, flies and stuff to kill. Although, I think that's only in the first phase, so... A tier rate is likely to, to dip a bit from here. I think that bomb hit him right. Hey, there you go. Last phase. We got a bomb. Oh, I hit myself with that bomb, though. That was a bit stupid. Ow, hit myself with that, too. Spider unboxing is really good because I think when any of those die, we'll get more tier rate. But there you go. We crushed that one. I hope you guys did enjoy this slightly interesting, slightly weird run. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.